Mike Scan here, Senior Pastor of Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas. I want to welcome you to another Three Minute Thursday, where we take three minutes or less and look at subjects and topics of the Bible. Today, I want to address the question, to church or not to church? But before I do that, please subscribe to our page, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified about every new message or every new uh, video that comes out on our page, as well as would you like this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about our content, and maybe if you have an idea that you'd like us to talk about, man, put it down there in the comments as well. So to church or not to church, to answer that question, let's go back to the original church and see what happened. We're going to look at the book of Acts, chapter 2 verse 42 look at what it says it says they were devoting themselves to the teaching of the emissaries and to the fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer fear lay hold of everyone and every soul and many wonders and signs were happening through the apostles and all who believed were together having everything in common they began selling their property and possessions and sharing them all as they had need Day by day, they continued with one mind, spending time at the temple, did you hear that? And breaking bread from house to house. They were sharing meals and gladness and sincerity of heart, praising God, having favor with all the people, and every day the Lord was adding to their number those being saved. You know, in Luke 4, 16, we see Jesus attending synagogue, not only attending it, but he actually taught in the temple. Here's the thing. The Bible calls the church the ecclesia, meaning that we are called out. We are called out from the things of the world. Now, I know what people say. You don't have to go to church to be a Christian, and you're absolutely right. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than walking into a barn makes you a horse. It just doesn't happen, right? But because you're now part of the Messiah, now that you're part of the church, we are to gather together. Why? To lift each other up, build each other up, and gather. Matter of fact, if you go back to what, uh, what God says in the commandments of the Torah, in the Torah, in, 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 it says that, that we're to have a holy assembly or a a convocation. A convocation is a holy meeting. It's a gathering together. In the book of Acts, we see two things. One, they gathered publicly. They went to temple together. And two, they met in house to house. And this is what I want to tell you. The book of Hebrews in chapter 10 says that we're not to forsake the gathering of, our man, uh, of ourselves together in this meeting as the manner of some who have. But as we see the day approach, we should do it even more. Church, we're living in very difficult times, and one of the things we need more now than ever is to gather together as the called out ones and worship together. Look, I know I've heard people say, well, my, my church is in the woods or my church is on the lake. That's not true. That's not true. You are the body of Messiah, and we are to gather together, a holy convocation together to worship and exalt God Almighty. But not only that, so that we can encourage and bless each other. Man, I hope this has blessed you. If you don't have a church home, go find one. And if you're in the local area in, in Terrell, Texas, or in that vicinity, man, come check us out at 646 North Rockwall Avenue in Terrell, Texas. We'd love to have you 1045 Sunday mornings. But if you've fallen away from church, man, go back. Go back to church and be a part of the Ecclesia. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you next time.